what, what should I be focused on right now as an individual who has a little bit of money in the bank, a little bit of money set aside for retirement, and maybe a little bit of real estate? What should I be focused on right now? This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Clearly focus on yourself, um, and it's important that you do that um, as much as, you know, we'd like to believe it. The government's not going to be there 100% to save you. So it's important to take care of yourself. And it's amazing what, and this is where I think people are woefully um, uh, mistaken if they don't think math is important. Uh, just some <laughs> basic mathematics skills can really motivate people to be better investors. Right. I got another one for you. Go ahead. Give me so, one. So I do this, um, I teach some high school classes around town over the last few years, and I try to get the kids motivated. Sure. And I'll have them take out a 30-day calendar. Uh-huh. Okay, they print out a blank, and if you start with a penny on the first day, then you double it the next day, and then you double it the next day, you double it the next day, okay? You go from two cents to four cents to eight cents. After the first week, you have 64 cents. Right. No big deal. Yeah. If you did it again, after the second week, you have about $81. Okay. No big deal, right? Right, right. After the third week, a little over $10,000. Maybe your eyebrows go up like you're looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> but after the fourth week, you'd have $1.3 million. There it is. And on the 30th day, so the 28th to the 30th day, you'd end up with $5.3 million. There you go. Now, I bring this up not because you double your money every day. Right, of course not. But there's something called compounded interest, mm -hmm. right? And that's where the interest you earn or the gains you earn Earn interest. Right. It's like a snowball going down on right. a mountain. Right. The interest earns interest. We're all from the Northeast or the mountain region, right? So we're used right. to snow. Right. That snowball going down the mountain gets bigger as it goes down. And that's what that's what I try to coach my clients to do is for a dollar a day, for two dollars a day, for right. five dollars a day. Right. Um, and then I always flip it and say, think about what you blow five bucks a day on. <laughs> right. Starbucks or whatever it might be. Right. Don't tell me you don't have it to invest. You do. <laughs> yeah. You just don't want to. Right. Or you choose not to, right? Right. right? And this day and age with electronic deposits and the technologies like my firm and other firms have, you can get accounts started for so little. Right. My kids have them. Okay. Right? You know, that was that was my gift to them when they oh, turned, wow. when my two daughters turned 16, mm -hmm. got accounts open for them and they're putting in a, literally a dollar a day. Nice. So that I think to your question is take care of yourself. Um not being self-serving, but I think like you in real estate, sit with a professional. Right. Let them show you maybe there's some tax-advantaged accounts you could open up. Right. Your company's 401K, life insurance, health insurance. All these things come into play because your whole financial picture is to be protected yeah. as well as grown. Yeah. I've always made the case. I mean, one of the things I make the case for in this program because I'm a real estate agent, and I, it is somewhat self-serving, but it's really not in the sense that I believe – that everyone, uh, part of the American dream is to own your own home. And owning your own home is one of the most important financial elements of your personal financial life. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm disturbed by the idea that c companies and corporations are trying to turn housing into a commodity. I, I hate that. I, yeah. And that's, that's one of the things I'm fighting on. the pro I want individuals out there to buy their own home. And I, to me, I mean, but not just real estate, obviously. And I'm diverse. I have investments mm -hmm. in a variety mm -hmm. of ways, including in the market and, mm -hmm. and other things. But I, but I believe that real estate, in my own personal philosophy, is is that own your home first. You got to live somewhere. Yeah. Make money on it. Don't disagree. Okay. And, good. And think about the fact that real estate. I own a home. I have I have a second home that okay. I rent out. So I'm in the market like you. I have a diversified right. portfolio. There you go. But I think the thing that people forget about is the way a lot of people build their wealth in their homes. Yes, the prices go up, but historically, it's been inflationary. That's pretty much it, right? Indeed, yep. But yep. where do you build up the equities? Paying down that mortgage. Exactly. Right? And that's 20 years. That's that dollar a day thing where if you pay that mortgage down, mm -hmm. you're building equity just by paying off the debt. Exactly. And that's when you go to sell it, you get your payoff. And the compounding effect of that is, is that you're getting appreciation plus a right. reduction of principal. You're getting right. both. Right. So you're really getting that gap. It becomes your equity. Yep. And that, equi that equity thing. Now, the, the, again, I, I, I espouse this all the time. The hardest purchase for a home buyer is the first one because you're writing a check. The other ones, you're really not. You're just pulling money out of one house, putting it right. in another. Right. But that first one is the hardest one, guys. And, and, and I know, you know it's difficult for some, some people to get that money set aside, but you just set aside just enough money to buy that first house. And then along with the house, I don't disagree. I think you should have your money tied up with someone like Steve, put some money in, in a spot where it's going to get you get you compounded interest. 
Yeah, the, and I think there's the liquidity factor too. The liquidity means how quickly can I convert right. something to cash in 30 days or less. Right. Um, I have an investment property, but there's no ATM thing on it. I can't get right. my money out until I sell it. Right. An investment account, you can do that. So there's there's costs and benefits to both. Indeed, yeah. I right. My son just asked me about this the other day. He's he just got his first job. He's got his master's. He's teaching in Southern California. He said, "Gee, I want to. You know, I have I have money in retirement, which I'm getting through work and all that stuff." I said, "But but I need to have regular." I said, "Yeah. In my mind, you should have like 90 days set aside. That's the number I kind of have used and su suppose that he should have, you know, 90 days of expenses set aside in a savings account that he can get to at any time and just saved." Uh, as a goal. Is that, a, is that an appropriate yeah, number? Can't argue with that, especially now, and this is the other side of higher interest rates. You could put that 90 day savings in a CD yeah. and earn 5% on it. And, you know, God forbid there's an emergency and you have to break a CD, not the end of the world. Right. And so, but, but one of the key elements to uh, investing is patience, right? Amen. All right. Right. I mean, you can't, don't, don't, like you said, don't expect it to double every day. <laughs> no, and, but when you go from a dollar to or one cent to two cent, that's one day. But the, remember, the 28th to the 30th day, ah, if huge. you take that, turn it into years, right? The yeah. 28th year. But the big payoff is towards the end of that, that curve, right? right. So the patience is what's important. Indeed. The presidents I, come and go. Yep. The cycles come and go. Right. But at the end of the day, if history is any guide, no matter stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, gold, whatever it is, yeah. usually goes from the bottom left to the top right yeah. over time. Yep. And, and consistency is the key there, you know, consistency yep. and patience. And those things will always pay off. I mean, and they pay off in real estate. They pay off in personal financial development uh, and, and growing your own personal wealth. 